thing today. We, we got the uh, big boy here. We got the SC680. This is Field Pieces high end uh, multimeter. Plenty of options on this one. Um, a couple of points I make here is it comes with the Molex test leads. You can measure power with this. So if you want to see if a uh, system is being efficient, this one has a swivel clamp, which is awesome. I've seen a lot of people use that. That's something I'm excited to use. Uh, of course, it's true RMS. You can uh, check inrush amps. Hold, max, and min, a great feature that all meters should have. A dial backlight. We'll have to see how that works. Jaw flashlight, you get one in the uh, clamp. And of course, you can hook up to job link, something I use a lot because on these, this one's gonna have the dual temperature readings. I use mine for temperature readings a lot on coolers and stuff, so I can leave it in there, walk away and monitor it from outside the door. That way I'm not disturbing anything, like opening the door and letting heat in. But yeah, you can see there has a light on the, on the uh, dial. That's a cool feature. And the lead storage, that's awesome, I love, uh, lead storage because on loose leads in my tool bag tend to poke and rip stuff so you can check VFDs of course you got the phase rotation feature on this one which I really enjoy using on installs calculate power and system efficiency and measure amperage behind the door which is another thing like you can check a blower close a panel and let it run the way it's supposed to and you still have a reading because you're using their uh, job link app wirelessly or like if you're checking uh, like myself i check compressors uh check the amperage and stuff but as you know you, you overheat the compressor if you have the panel off on the rooftop unit so you can put the panel back on run it check your inrush or check your running load amps and do it through the app you can uh, close all the panels and walk away so of course we're going to use it we're going to test it look at all the features and get it in the tool bag all right guys so here it is straight out of the box this is the big boy so if you want to know if it fits in your bag so we got a foot long here Two and a half wide your depth is a little under two inches i'm gonna get this going and we're gonna put it in my everyday bag so we can use it heavily uh so it's gonna go in the mb3 it should fit fine that is a meter bag and we'll get that in there all right guys so just quickly um you know they do give you the nice field piece uh case for it it's a little soft bag for it they will give you some velcro straps and I do appreciate all the little extras that they give you. So we're gonna have the very useful alligator clips when you wanna hook up. They give you one for each lead, which is great. It's always a necessity there. And one of the cool things that they do is they give you these uh, Molex lead connectors. So if we work with a lot of circuit boards and stuff like that now so we got to be checking in molexes those connections a lot of tight spaces and they actually give you these extra tips to be able to do that because everything is electric and boards and uh, whatnot that's just the way the hvac industry is moving and they got your back with these uh, connectors i use them on all the new evaporators that I have to install with um, the boards, electronic expansion valves, checking a lot of DC voltage now. And uh, I'm glad that they throw that in there. You don't have to buy it extra. It's all in, included and very uh, useful. All right, so in my everyday bag, it's basically a meter bag. That's what they make them for um, height wise. So bam, fits perfect. So I got some coolers to check tomorrow. We'll definitely be using that and uh, I want to use the temperature 
and the dual temperature i want to see if we can check some temp splits and stuff i got a whole bunch of uses that i'm going to use all the extra features i get with this meter all right so here we have our uh, field piece sc680 out in the field what i am curious to try though is i have a unit here that already has these holes pre-drilled so we're gonna take the caps off and i want to check temperature split on this uh, ac rooftop unit so that we know how well it's cooling and this is a kitchen so normally it's very hot so we'll see how it's doing so here you have to disconnect the laser use your temperature probes and then we're gonna go down to the temp function and it's gonna give you the two displays and if you hit it again it's gonna give you the T1 and then the, the difference and then T2 and the difference So I think I just want to see T1 and T2 for now. And we're supplying 61 and we're returning 75, which is actually not bad. So right now I'm going to take a look at the compressors, see if we get it down a little bit. So I'm going to go downstairs real quick, but since I have the wireless option on, we can uh, check as we go down check our temperature if we were checking amperage or anything we could also check that our voltage with our alligator clips so having that wireless option on that unit is a or that meter is a big deal to me I can walk away get out of the Sun for a little bit or be working on another unit that is maybe across the roof while I have my meter hooked up checking whatever I'm checking and uh, it makes me, lets me check uh, things without having to be right at the unit. All right, so with this uh, meter, one of my favorite features is, of course, the temperature, which I showed, uh, checking to reach in. I can leave it in the box, or I can leave it in a walk-in also and check my temperature that way. So having our meter here on a rooftop unit let's say we want to check if uh, some we have some live wire or anything we have the non-contact voltage which I really like when meters have that so you can see it goes red and it tells you that it's live it'll start beeping so we can check any wire that we need to and that's a good first check of course you want to do you want to check if you have uh, voltage anyway now I don't recommend doing it one handed like this but I'm trying to record. Uh, basically you can clip one so that you can hold the meter while you're checking uh, your voltage so that's kind of a cool thing that they do. So basically you would go in with uh, the meter in one hand and then your lead in the other and you go in and you do it this way and you can see what kind of voltage you get. So that you don't have if you don't have anywhere to hang the meter you can do it like this and of course the swivel is awesome so that you can see what you're checking let's say we go in here and we want to check amperage on one of these now this is in front of me so it's not that bad so we're going to check amperage here we're running at 14 amps so let's say this was in a weird spot you can actually turn it to face you however you want without having to reposition the clamp it's safe like that and you can turn this now the benefit of this meter though is that it's wireless you can close up all the panels have everything run the way it's supposed to and just check it on your phone with the job link app which is by far my favorite way to use all their products their meters their probes and everything swivel clamp in action again now we're gonna have it on the watts dial, which is gonna be the power efficiency uh, feature on these meters that I actually have not used. So you're gonna check your volts through the leads and your amperage together at the same time. And you're gonna get a power factor and the uh, kilowatts. So you can cycle through these
get a reading. See if I can get the glare out. And uh, you can see how efficient your unit is. Of course, power factor, you want to be as close to one as possible. So we're at a 0.88 on this unit. And I don't know if you guys have noticed, uh, but like I said, this thing has two magnets, extra strong, but that gives you the ability to, when it's closed, throw it up without having to hang the strap over the unit. You can just put it straight up like that. I mean, you can hang it like this as well, but without having to do that extra swing action, you can just take out your leads and throw it up without worrying about it. It does stick either way because it has two magnets on this uh, 680 meter so just a cool little fun fact there all right everybody and that was just a quick overview of me using the sc680 uh, clamp meter by field piece um, i was excited to get it in but i was a little skeptical on the size of the meter uh, I think that's the complaint some people have, but now that I have it in hand, it's actually a good size, very thin in my opinion. And I'm gonna be switching to this as my everyday meter just because of everything that it can do and the convenience of it. So for me, the selling point, like if I was getting it, is for the swivel clamp. Uh, so it's easy to see in every, in every direction and whatnot. The lead storage, so I'm not poking holes through my tool bag. So I figured out, you know, how to wrap it up now nicely. Uh, the extra magnet so that I don't have to flip open the flap all the time. It's just something that you can, with the second magnet you can hold on, it can hold on to a unit much easier just in that position right there. The dual temp meters, I do a lot of refrigeration. Uh, so I'm always checking temperature. And then uh, if I want to check a split, on a rooftop AC unit, I can do that, or any system that you are able to get to the supply and return and run a K-type thermocouple to. You can do it with this, instead of having to carry around a separate thermometer or probes or anything like that. Uh, you can do it on the meter just for quick checks at least. That's what I use it for, just I wanna see my temp split. Uh, you know, the Delta T and all that. And of course, using it wirelessly with the JobLink app. Now, a lot of people always ask me, what app do I use? Because you can use several. Uh, I always go back to the JobLink app. It's quick and easy. Everything works with it. I have field piece, everything. I don't know if you can tell. So everything communicates with each other, like the manifold with your probes, uh, clamps, like temperature clamps. Uh, your scale, all that stuff. If you get it from Field Piece and you use our app, one app for everything. And all you have to do is go to whatever tab you're working on. So if you're, you have your meter and you're checking temp or amperage, anything like that, any reading that it gets, just go over to the electrical tab and then you can hop over to the uh, manifold and slash probes tab. If you're checking any of the uh, pressures, temperatures on the pipes and stuff like that and then uh, if you're weighing in something you can go over to the weight tab and check your uh, scale it connects wirelessly too and then hop over to your evacuation tab if you have their uh, vacuum gauge so i prefer their app i've always used it i don't like to switch back and forth between apps theirs does everything well all the tools that i have so Whenever somebody asks me, I always tell them job link app every time. Now, a lot of people might not really know that in their job link app, it does more than just give you readings. You can also make reports. So like how I told you about the efficiency and the power factor, kilowatts, all that that you're looking up on this meter now, you can make reports and give them to your boss, give them to the homeowner, whoever needs to see that. And you can tell them use it as a selling point, whatever. And that report is in the app. You can print it out, show it to them, email it to them. They also do like invoicing or jobs 
on the app too so it does a lot more than just give you readings just a heads up if you guys didn't know like a lot of people don't know obviously i've gone over a few things here in this video but it does you know everything that you expect it to like you have different uh, measurements there hertz uh, amperage duty cycles phase rotation the temperature that I went over, microfarads, non-contact voltage, I love that feature. Continuity, diodes, ohms, everything that a basic meter uh, does anyway. And I did want to mention that the clamp does amperage in AC and DC. And it also checks hertz. So, like it says on the package, it's great for uh, people that do mini splits and that do, like, they work on VFDs and stuff like that. This is a great meter for all those applications so if you guys want to check it out this is the sc680 by field piece now if you want one meter that does everything uh, this is the one i've had field piece my entire 15 year career ever since i got into the trade i started with a field piece and i never switched i've never had issues with them i like the form factor of their meters and uh, just how like they have a whole ecosystem now where everything talks to one another and you use our app. I'd rather have it do more than I need it to than not have it do enough. So that's my advice on this, on this kind of meter. So yeah, hope you guys uh, enjoyed and I will see you guys. So quick tip. These are the thermocouples. Obviously you have to slide this over and then you plug it in to get your temperature reading. It's getting a little hot out even though the sun's down. These used to rip on me. I might do a video on how to repair these. They're super easy to repair. You just undo all this. But the way I do it is I used to, I mean, I used to roll them up loose. They got these little holes here, right? So I pass it through once, pass it through again. Cause what happened with me is this was tugging too much and it would rip from the inside out. And then I, I couldn't get a reading anymore. So now I do that and then I wrap it around. So we wrap it uh, tightly and then we go once over through again. And then you got your little tail there that you can kind of fold around or whatever. And basically when you go back in to put it, let's say you just want the ambient, you just have to leave it like that. Or if you use the app like I do and you wanna check, put this in the box, like a walk-in box or something and walk away, you just place the meter on a shelf or something and you're reading the temperature from inside the box when you're outside. I hardly ever have to do or undo this anymore unless I'm specifically checking something like a like the duct um, temperature split. So this stays wound up most of the time even when I have to, to check duct, I unroll maybe half of it and it reaches. So quick tip, that's how I store them. So then when I take it out, I throw it in my bag like this. Nothing rips, nothing goes bad. I've had thermocouples that lasted a long time now after doing this little uh, wrap here.